Hello everybody, it's ID with Luigi Big Mac and welcome back to Psychonauts. Last time we uh, completed the rest of Sasha's mind and we also found out that Dogen is, uh, well, brainless. Uh, bra brainlessly wants to, uh, uh, brainlessly wants to watch TV, so. There you go. Now for this last one, you're really gonna have to fly. Once you get up in the air, try using your thoughts as a balloon to float. Just jump for those rings as high as you can and then do your side float. Don't be afraid, darling. Yep. So, so this is where we learn the levitation ability. Now, levitation is probably the most key part of, of the uh, platforming here. Mainly because of this part here. Yeah, I know in speedruns, you're able to just, like, spam that, and you just kind of get, like, go infinitely flying. Also, this guy's here. Hello. Hello, low buddy. Anyways. Yeah, let me grab, let me just grab uh, that figment right there. Because we can always use the extra uh, rank ups. Ah, jeez. All right, let's maybe get a uh, a better better jumping start here. There we go. Outstanding. Okay, now just between you and me, this end of the party is dead. Come find me on the other side of the party, and I'll give you that merit badge for real. Never keep a girl waiting long, young man. You gotta, you gotta love Sasha. Anyway, we got the duffel bag tag. Is there anything else down here that we need? Uh, not really. Well, luck. Well, luckily, developers. The developer. The developers probably knew someone's gonna get stuck there, so they at least made it easy to escape. Also, I'm also used to Psychonauts too, where you actually have four buttons you can use the abilities for rather than three. Yeah, now, now here's the thing. A lot of people consider this to be the worst uh, level in Psychonauts, and in the first game, and honestly, I'm kind of inclined to agree. Like, don't get me wrong, I like the theming. The main issue here is that, one, figments, you, you can barely see them. Like, like there's an orange figment there. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. You are the sugar in my and there's, there's a pink one right there. You can barely see it. Is the theme of this party. Now, Psych now, Psychonauts 2 made figments easier to find, which, thank God for that. But yeah, 100%ing this stage is a nightmare because you can barely see the figments, which is also the main reason why I'm not going 100% this game uh, as a Let's Play. Because, because the figments are so much of a pain in the ass to get. Fun. Anyways, everyone's here. Hey, wanna dance? Um, no thanks, Raz. Hey, can you teach me how to dance? Come on, dance, baby. Anyway, enough of that crying there. Hey, can you teach me how to dance? Come on, dance, baby. Hey, wanna dance? Yay! I already am. Come join us. Hey, can you teach me how to dance? Come on, dance, baby. Hey, wanna dance? Hey, sure! We're all dancing! Hey, wanna dance? Thanks, but no thanks, Raz. There we go. 
Might as well talk to, to our to our classmates here. You never know if they're gonna go brainless the same one night. Thank you, sweetie. I feel so much better now. Come on, let's take it a little higher now. Ooh, look at the crowd! Things are starting to pick up. See that raft up above, darling? Jump into it and float and see what it takes you. Oh, that's what happens when you fall off like a like a moron like I did. Anyway, so here's the other mechanic about uh about the side float here. Uh you uh, so side float is useful as you can well use uh, air like air drafts or whatnot to uh float. Anyway, we got the hatbox tag. We have yet to find any other, uh... We have yet to find any other, uh, thing here. Let's see. Streamer's right here. Now here's, now here's the thing with the, uh, with the emotional baggage. I'm not going out of my way to find all of them. If I miss one, so be it. After all, I did miss one in, uh, basic braining. Probably because I can't access yet. Access it yet, if I really wanted to. But uh, with that being said, all right. Let me try and focus in. Uh, What the? Why are the? Why are sensors here? You get out of here! Careful, darling. If you're not on the ball when you enter that circle, you might be seeing stars instead of being one. Careful, darling. If you're not on the ball when you enter that circle, you might be seeing stars instead of being one. Hmm. I feel like there's something missing. I'm missing. There we go. I needed to jump. Also, I can appreciate uh, when the game's showing me where a, where a specific thing is at. Ice. Oh, God. I see we have to grind rails now. Well then, time to grind grind some rails, baby. Also hat the uh, the hat box is right there. Also, if I recall correctly, I think it is slightly faster to be on the levitation ball compared to regular running. Anyway, get get you. Just collect all these because they're here. Hey, we're ranked 22 now. Oh, I missed that figment. Ah, oh, well. Or maybe not. Ha! Nice. Hey, wanna dance? Yes. Teach me of your earth rhythms. She thinks she's an alien. Or maybe she is one. I ain't, I ain't the dev, so I wouldn't, so I wouldn't freaking know. Uh, cowboy. Um, why don't you go ask Elka? She loves to dance. Hey, will you teach me how to dance? Watch and learn, kid. Hey, wanna dance? You better back off, or my boyfriend James will go nuts. He's so jealous and protective of me. Hey, will you teach me how to dance? Come on, dance, baby! 
I like, I like how, uh, how it's all the same responses. Anyways. Ah, ah, boy. Oh, yeah, I forgot. In this... In this game... I forgot in this game you can actually attack while on your levitation ball. Uh, th this is important because in Psychonauts 2, you can no longer attack while on your levitation ball. Anyway... BS Adventures. Oh, she has feelings for uh, Sasha. All oh, right. You can also grab pound while doing this. Now, in Psychonauts 2, you can also still do that as well. There we go. We have this uh, climbing cage. Speaking of which, uh, I like how the platforming is uh, explained, like how Raz is able to do all this. When I you are levitating, you are also protected from all sorts of icky things. But some things, like those spikes, those are always bad news, whether you are levitating or not. So, watch out. so, anyways, I like I like how uh, like explain that because Raz grew up in the circus, he's he's ac he can actually do all these acrobatic uh, maneuvers. So anyway, uh, acid and radiation, electric, fire. Hmm. That shouldn't be happening, darling. Do you have some problems with water? Do you want to talk about it? Uh, it's a long story. Maybe later. Okay, I'm always here for you, darling. Let me just say that it's very normal for boys your age. Anyways. All the way down there, huh? Why not straight in the middle? That, that would make a lot more sense. God, that kind of pisses me off. Anyway, and then we have this thing here. <laughs> also, also in Psychonauts 2, you also have a limited, uh... You also have a limited time. I'm just gonna... I think this is actually, I think that might actually be the right way. So I'm just going to go over here. There we go. I wanted to do that just so I can, uh, I wanted to make sure, cause like, I might as well try and collect the emotional baggage any way I can. Speaking of which, we're missing one, the, uh, the pink one. Uh, other than that, we're doing pretty good. Die. Anyway, and here's the other reason why, uh, this, this, uh, this stage is really bad for, uh, uh, or this this is another reason why this bag or this game is uh, extremely shitty for 100 percenting this part of the level. Okay, it's time to see how fast you are, darling. You have to do this race over and over again. Go, baby, go. On top of the fact that you can barely see the uh, the figments uh, as well. Yeah, and I remember in speedruns, this is probably some, I, if I remember correctly, this is also a point that you can actually get, uh, that you can probably reset on, mainly because of these obstacles. If you run into an obstacle, you lose your momentum really fast. Yeah, so I'm not, like I said, I'm not really worrying about 100%ing this, like, if I miss figments, it's whatever. There's there's like a bajillion of them anyway.
Ah, sh shucks. My speed... My, my speed was killed right there. I am not losing to that silch asshole. But we beat him, so... You did it! You are quick like greasy lightning! I'm so proud of you, darling! You're so fast, you'll be at my party in no time, eh? <sighs> okay, if you want to get up to where the action is, you're going to have to do a lot of floating in this room, baby! Good thing you're so light on your feet! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, th yeah, thanks for telling me, game. Yeah, it's not like I did not know that before. Uh, anyways. Anyway, there's one... Obviously, so we know where the emotional baggage is. We just need to find the tag for it. Yeah, you know what? For a platformer, I think this technically counts as a collectathon Because of all the collectibles in there. In here. Like the mental cobwebs, the figments, and uh, all that. So honestly, yeah, I think this game technically counts as a uh, collectathon. So if you like, so if you like other collectathons like Banjo Kazooie and whatnot, oh, there's the tag. Uh, cool, cool. I can actually move on. Uh, anyways, yeah, if you like collectathons, this is probably a decent. Uh, if you float in some areas, you might get a little more oomph than usual. Uh, but yeah, uh, you you might enjoy this game, and and the sequel. Robins of Ruin, not so much. If you if you if you like the if you like the story, then I would recommend uh, Robins of Ruin, because that's a direct in between. Also, we got we got an ammo up. That's a nice thing to have. Anyways, let's just uh, move on over here. Let's see. Aha, there we go. Smack that bad boy. Now you're going to have to use your side float again to get those rings spinning. Yeah, this part's also very easy, because you just have to do uh, stuff like that. Uh, and Raz is falling. Now he's no longer falling. Okay, we got all these here. And then let's go. Yep, and there we go. We got all the emotional baggage here. Yeah, also, I should probably mention what primal memories are. Yeah, so let me just go uh, here real quick. Sasha 9. It's it's basically it's basically just concept art. That's basically all it is. So same with Mia here, just you know concept art. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool reward for 100 percenting uh for for collecting all the emotional baggage. You get to see like concept and details for the game, which is pretty cool if you're a fan of the if you're a fan of the series, like I am. Hmm. Who's that 
I see. It's Rasputin, the rolling rock star, in the flesh. And just in time, the party was dying without you, darling. Here, I have a little party favor for you. And hey, we can now officially levitate. say that oh he's just like that come on Mia all oh, right yeah the power controls uh, for this kind of suck well at least tell me is there a way for me to actually like dock here or something Ooh, wait is it like one of these I have to dock at wait oops You what? Know what? Whatever. We can now do this now, which means, uh, which means all those side cards that we uh, couldn't grab, we can technically grab now because we have a higher jump in the form of the actual uh, levitation ball, and then we have this. Yeah, let's let's go down here real quick. It's was earlier oh he's still here yep I don't think I don't think there's any way we're getting past that well great good to know Silch still has a fucking brain you know out of all these people I would I was I would suspect his brain to be you know small like like, actually, not even small. Like, I would not even expect him to even have one. Whoa. Uh, Elton, I hope you're not waiting for me. Oh, jeez, sorry. Carry on, Sailor. Mental cobwebs getting you down. I've got just the device up here in the main large store. What? Oh, yeah, speaking of which, uh, we have this thing. Come on up and score yourself a cobweb just before they're all sold out. Yep. So this is so this is how we're gonna be grinding. Uh, this is how we're gonna, this is how we're gonna be grinding uh, our uh, our arrowheads. By the way, using this bad boy. Uh, now you might be wondering how this works. I am going off of uh, the vibration of the controller. That's how I'm able to find these things. So we're already at two hundred now. Up anyway, what rank do we need to be in order to get that cobweb duster? Because the earlier we can get it, the better. Ooh. Yeah, something weird is going on. I can't really, I can't seem to put my tongue on it, but yeah, something really weird is going on. Uh, you know what? Before we do any of that, let's uh, let's climb up this thing real quick. Also, there's a side card that I somehow missed. Yeah, thank, yeah, thanks, thank, thank you, Orleander. Thank you for the mumbling. Sure, he's probably like asleep or dead or something. Anyways, uh, now so we have this. this. Is it. I'm so happy, Clem. And now we're on the roof. We got ourselves another side card. And then. Ha. 
There we are. What are you guys doing? Oh, hey, Raz. Didn't see you there. We're just looking at the sunset. Shh, just wait until he leaves. Oh my god, I just realized they're suicidal. Oh god. Ugh. Man, man, that makes me that makes me feel a lot more sad about about them. Okay, well, let's go to the hey, store. Anything new in the store? Take a look. Oh, that's my last cobweb duster. Now with that, oh, that's my last. Okay, yeah, duster. rank, rank, rank twenty-eight. Go to yeah. Edge and come on back. TV. Hacky sack. Yes, hacky sack. Oh no, they're all brainless. Hi, Raz. Vernon, you're okay. Yeah, we're great. Me and my pals Kitty and Frankie are just hanging out telling stories and watching the boob tube. <laughs> the boob tube. Vernon, look at them. They're zombies. It did seem kind of weird when they let me get this close to them. And then they didn't mind what I talked all through the show. Kitty even agreed to go on a date with me, more or less. We're gonna play hacky sack. <laughs> Keep an eye on them, Vernon. I'm gonna go figure out what's causing this. Roger that, Raz. Do um. you, lady? Dogen! TV? <laughs> yeah. Good idea. You rest here while I find your brains. Yep. Yep, it's I like true. It happened back when this place was still an Maybe Indian summer cap and burial ground. So nice. A group of Ujid soldiers got sent. I, I like the way how Dogen says TV. Hey, what's on? TV? <laughs> Just scared. Weird story. <laughs> <laughs> how about this? Yeah, so. Yeah, so. Three. So, yeah, so three of these kids no longer have a uh, brain. So that's kind of concerning. Uh, anyway, let's let's gather let's gather a few more uh Let's gather a few more uh oh look, oh look another side card. There's another one here I missed. Uh, oh yeah, and the way you actually get them, you just have to mash uh, the Y button here. There we go. I'll, I'll go after one more, then we'll continue the story. <sighs> Not enough. Ooh, okay. Difficult, definitely close. And let's continue on the story, shall we? Where would you like? I'm surprised it actually worked. Anyway. So, anyways. Okay, I'm a certified limitator now. Ready to roll. Hmm. I've been running some tests. It seems that the sensitive circuitry of the brain tumbler is picking up too much psychic interference to be safe. The thoughts of some other entity are interlacing with yours at a dangerous level, which explains many of the strange things you've seen. I must call off the experiments until we know more. Sasha, there's no time. I think my vision about Dogen came true. I'm worried it's gonna happen to the others if we don't get to the bottom of this quick. But we don't know where the foreign projections are coming from yet. Is there a faster way to find out than sending me in there to investigate? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, Raz, Raz does have a point. 
like, you can't really find out to the bottom of this until we actually find out. Uh, anyways, the one we want to go to is right there. Because we got all the memories. And I think we have to tag for the last emotional baggage. Uh, anyway. Oh, great. Just brings us right here. Excellent. Let's see. Cobweb is just right there. Nothing behind it. Up and there's brain. Oh, good boy, there's that pesky brain. Here's a tissue. Now, don't you feel better, my dear lad? TV? Of course, right here. And this bad tooth. We just drop it in the old garbage chute. Now, don't you solid foods for six hours. Lily. Alrighty then. TV. TV. Yeah, yeah, bud. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Can't get a good grip. And we're in this weird area, huh? Anyway, boss fight time. I can't get a good grip. Okay, I see now. Shoot your little stupid grenade. Oh man, I was too far away for that. That is horse shit. Okay, that's hit scan. Good to know. There we go. 
All right, then. Just gotta beat him up. All right, we gotta we gotta do this for one more cycle. Interesting. Oh god, that was a loud explosion. Uh, interestingly. There we go. Is this a nightmare? Or a plan? Or both? Wait a minute. Rasputin, I'm sorry. I had to abort the experiment. Something unbelievably urgent has come up and I must leave immediately. I know! You'll never believe- Hold that thought. In a rush. Official psychonaut business. Wait! So is this! Official psychonaut, eh? You forgot your- Hmm. Well, this is mine now. Fuck you. Hey, that white room. I know. It's from Oleander's mind. I think I was in the coach's dream that whole time. Ever since I stepped through the static in the caravan, it felt funny. I knew I wasn't obsessed with meat. But Mari is. And was stealing psychic brains to arm a fleet of deadly tanks, apparently. I've got to tell Lily. She's waiting for me down by the boathouse. Down by the... water? Uh-oh. Better hurry. Yep. So, believe it or not, we are officially halfway through the game. But with that being said, we actually now have to grind, uh for 800 uh, arrowheads in order to progress. Uh, well... Well, I don't have to do it right now. But now... It's probably... But, yeah, actually, there we go. That's what you get for setting me on fire, you dick. There we go. We're about like we're about like three quarters there. Almost there. Almost there. Yeah, you can, you can actually kind of cheat it out by just doing something like that. Ooh, is this a crow's feather? That's actually an item, not a uh. Uh, a treasure hunting item. Man, man, triggers my controller are sensitive. But anyway, we're almost halfway there. Uh, and I have enough to for another. Uh, Charles Barker, so that'll, that'll be useful. Children, please remember not to pet or feed the animals at Whispering Rock. 
The titanium in the food chain has caused numerous psychic mutations, and the animals you encounter, especially at night, might be more dangerous than the kind you have back home. Die, bear. Yeah, this is probably the most boring part of the game, because grinding for these arrowheads kind of suck. But hey, we are officially halfway uh, to getting that cob, cob, uh, uh. I'm not. Must not be any deep arrowheads nearby. Ooh. Actually. Hmm. There has to be a way up there. There we go. There we go. Mental cobwebs getting you down. I've got just the device up here in the main large store. Well, come on up and score yourself a cobweb just before they're all sold out. I think, let's head back to the lodge and find some more stuff. And you know what, let's also head into the actual lodge itself. Wait a minute. This isn't what I was looking for. Well. Well then, I guess I'll grab this then? Oh, there's a bear. Hi, bear. I should probably stop doing that because I'm running out of, uh, of the mental aggression. But I think I'm getting somewhere soon. All right. Man, these bears are starting to get annoying. We are, wow, we are almost three quarters there. Well then. I'm not picking up anything. Must not be any deep arrowheads nearby. Yep. Ah, weird. Ah, weird. The water should have been uh, killing us by now.
Yep, we're definitely at three quarters there. And we're we're out of time for today's episode. So if you guys enjoyed the content I do, ugh, please consider subscribing. I'll really appreciate it. And I'll uh, you know like like comment and all that. And I'll see you guys in the next episode where hopefully I should have enough uh, enough of those arrowheads to be able to buy uh, that mental cobweb. As well as to buy a, uh, what do you call it, uh, a Psychor. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, bye bye.